Alright, welcome back to the channel everyone. Um, if you are new, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you liked the video, smash the thumbs up at the end. Um, I'm going to grab a screwdriver out of the toolbox here that I can barely get to. Let's see here. What kind of do we want? Grab ourselves a flan head. I'm going to grab this long guy too. Um, yeah, this thing's a mess. I have no room to do anything in here, but this guy, this is aside from the, uh, what we're going to do in this video, but I ended up uh, pulling this thing out of here the other day and I tripped over an extension cord and I dropped it, broke the foot peg off, busted the throttle cable, um, cracked up the odometer here in the tack. So this thing I want to eventually, if somehow I can manage it or not, um, if we don't get a garage by that time, I want to tear this thing down and just completely redo it from the wheels up so um yeah so what i'm gonna do is i want to take the silencer ring out i know a lot of people have done it some people say do it some people say don't but i want to try it just for my own wow is it bright got punched right in the face with that sun Whew. gee ow my sunglasses are even hot i want to do this just to do it just to see what happens um if it makes no difference really then not too not too worried about it i just kind of want to try it so before i take it off we'll do like a little startup video to show you what it sounds like beforehand and after um the the first video i did did a little drive down the street and uh just kind of drove nothing special but we'll give it a little start up really quick and uh see what we can hear what you could hear out of that but I tried um we're just gonna go ahead and take this intake tube off that one's a little bit too big this is probably too damn small Ooh, look at that right off there nice and easy um I was actually kind of surprised when uh when I put that filter on here I hopefully um, there's like, for 220,000 miles, there's no shaft plate in this turbo at all. I mean, you got your normal little bit of left and right, just like you kind of should, but there's no in and out play with this turbo at all. I did notice on one of the, I don't know if all these stock HY35s are like that, but I, I don't see something breaking the front side of this fin here or this wheel the compressor wheel but um it's like it's got like a flat side to it i don't know if they're all like that i haven't messed with too many of them but all the fins are good there's no chips or anything in it so what we're going to try and do is we're going to get this little ring out of here and get this uh this little plate right here off of here so we'll uh i'll set this camera up and see if we can get to it to get out of here. Alright. There it is. It's pretty dirty in there, pretty oily. And we 
deal. The turbo is not going to be on here for too much longer. Um, going to do, I don't know, I'm hearing a little bit of uh, do's and don'ts with turbos on these things. It's a smaller uh, displacement engine, so it, I don't know if they can really handle that big of uh, a turbo. A lot of people say, like, not like too big of a 400 series or something. So we'll figure it out when it when the time comes. But the, there's your snap ring and your silencer ring or plate, whatever you want to call it. There. So we'll uh, I'm gonna look around inside of here real quick and we'll put the tube back on. Really quick before I fire this thing up and we hear what it sounds like, I just want to tell you a little bit about what I got going on right now. So I'm trying to find a roller. Uh, I found a couple, but they're selling pretty fast. So I want to find a roller or even just if the truck has a good motor, trans, whatever, if they sell it cheap and I can get, if I can get the doors, the bed and everything cheaper than what it would cost to buy them individually. If I got it all at one time, I'm all right with that. So we're going to do, we're taking the doors off, taking all the doors off, taking the bed off. We're going to cut the cab corners out, rockers, put new ones in. Um, we're going to try and do them ourselves. And then while I have the bed off and doing all that stuff, I'm going to sand the frame down back here, sand the axle, clean it all up, paint it. But I really want to do, I really want them to get into some motor stuff. I want to get into some injectors and a tune and exhaust and just kind of get it going a little bit because these things are so slow stock. But I don't really want to do anything to it until I get this body fixed. I know it sounds kind of stupid because I want it to sound good. I want it to run good. I want it to be fast. I want it to not be fast, but I want it, I want it to be fast. But right now, I just want it to get up and go a little bit faster than what it should. So I'm, think, I'm thinking that when we do when we do all these body panels, um, <clears throat> that I'd rather, it, I think it'd be a lot easier to put the exhaust on the truck if the bed wasn't on here. I know it sounds kind of stupid, but... Um, do tailgate get the um i'm gonna do a roll pan back here i'm not a big fan of i think they look a lot better with roll pans um just get everything all done body work uh, I'm, not, I'm not trying to make a show truck out of it i just want it to look halfway decent so um just be patient um i want to like i said i want to get that truck first or body parts and then get into the motor but i don't think i can deal with the stock exhaust all that too much longer so That'll probably be the next thing that we're gonna do on this thing, honestly, is exhaust. But uh, let's, we'll fire this thing up real quick and see what it sounds like. The 
right hand tie rod over here. I don't know if they if that's considered a connecting tie rod or whatever, but if they just consider the whole assembly like a drag link like they do on the third gens. But we need to do some shocks and suspension work and steering.